Back to a breaking story you saw first right here on News 5. This morning, there's a desperate search for a missing Cleveland EMS worker. It has been two days since anyone has seen or heard from her or Mike Holden has been on this story all morning for us. Mike, do we have any new updates? Danita and Mike breaking literally within the last two minutes. We just were able to confirm that Lachelle Jordan, this missing woman, was supposed to testify as a witness at 9 o'clock this morning in a court case out of Cleveland. That case surrounds a worker who is accused of raping someone at a Cleveland area rec center. Now, we're checking in with Cleveland police right here behind us. They've remained entirely tight-lipped throughout the course of the last several hours as they continue to search for this missing Cleveland woman. But I have to show you her picture. Come on over to your TV screen and take a good look right here. This is who we're talking about, and this is Lachelle Jordan. She is 30 years old and is missing from Fairport Avenue in Cleveland. News 5 confirmed overnight that she is a Cleveland EMS worker, and Lachelle Jordan's photos has now been splashed across Twitter and Facebook in hopes of bringing her home safely. Now, you saw this story first on News 5 throughout the course of this morning, and overnight, we sent our news tracker out there to Fairport Avenue. That's where we spotted dozens of police cars in the neighborhood. We also saw officers inside of a home searching with flashlights for hours. This is again where she was last seen on May 6th, just two days ago. Police have been very busy regarding this case and haven't provided a lot of information as this is an ongoing investigation. But back out here live this morning, if you are again just waking up and just joining us, there is an active search for 30-year-old Lachelle Jordan. She is again that 30-year-old missing EMS worker, and we just confirmed through our News 5 investigators, including Sarah Buttison, she again confirmed that she was supposed to testify at 9.15 this morning regarding a rape case. That rape case centered around a rec center employee who is accused of raping one of his co-workers. Of course, Mike Danita, we're going to stay on top of this story, and we have to pop up this number before we go. If you know where this woman is, call the following number. It's 216-25-CRIME. Once again, 216-25-CRIME or dial 911. Guys, clearly the story is ever developing, and we're going to continue to monitor the situation. Back to you. All right, thank you, Mike, and make sure you stay with News 5.